What's up, 11 Series Best Fan? It's your boy Cruz right here with 11 Series Best Fishing. And we're back at it again, guys. Another review video just for you guys. Something new, hot off the press, maybe been out for a lot of month. And uh, we're gonna get started here in one second. So, but first, I would like to continue to thank everybody for your comments and for hitting that subscribe button. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, even though I'm only at like 250 or something, I think right now, where my end goal for the year was a thousand. Didn't quite make it, but it is what it is. I'll take 250 subscribers any day because you guys, 250 of you are truly fans. And I'm blessed to have all of you guys subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button and hitting that notification bell. I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So let's get right into it. We're gonna open up our six sack cents bag of goodies and pull out the two lures that we're gonna be using because guys, this bag is full of stuff. It's full of stuff and of course it's full of two of everything because like I always tell you guys, get two. Because if you lose one, you always have one. But then you, you also need to get two different colors, right? Because maybe that color that you're fishing that day just isn't the color that they want. So you go out there and you don't catch nothing. You're like, well, that lure sucks. And you throw it in the tackle box, you never use it again, right? Because just might not be the color for that day. So it's always good to get two different colors so that way you can see. I mean, if they don't need both those colors, then I guess you just pick two shitty colors. It is what it is. All right, so here we go. Six cents, new product came out a month ago, I think. I'm assuming a month ago, I think, when I ordered them, they, they, they were still fairly, fairly new. I think a lot of them are, are sold out now or may have been some of the good colors are sold out. But we're gonna go with that six cents 40 munch. It's a smaller crankbait to their shallow diving ones. I, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm gonna put it right down there. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. I just can't remember what the name of it is, And uh, but I'm gonna put it right there. So I got them in two different colors. This is the 40 Munch by Six Cents. They are 7 16th of an ounce, and they're two and a half inches long. I have it in a chartreuse black bag. That's probably one of my favorite colors for Six Cents. And then I have it in a Gilligan color from Ben Milligan. That's that's his color he designed. I really like that color. That's why I picked it up. I think it's got uh, some really, really good uh, lines and, and color shades to it. Let's go ahead and pull this out here. So it's, it's a square bill, but it's not a square bill. It's got kind of that round bill right here, which is gonna give it a, a different action in the water. You can see this Gilligan color. It's got that really dark bluegill color into like a bluish black on top with those stripes. Little blue dot right there into that kind of a mustard yellow on the bottom. Good realistic looking eyes. And of course some of those black nickel offset treble hooks right there. And these hooks right here guys, they're, you, you can, you never have to change out hooks on six cents. You can take these things right out of the pack and put them right on the rod. You see these got a, a little thud of a rattle in there. So a nice subtle rattle, but a nice thud at the same time. You can see there, these are definitely smaller, a smaller crankbait, which is good this time of year. So there's that Gilligan color. And then we got this, uh, chartreuse black back which is probably my favorite color from uh, six cents you got that black back right there into that chartreuse really bright yellow on the bottom with a little bit of an orange right there at the front and those black black eyes kind of a little bit of a red in the eyes yeah same thing got a nice little thud rattle to it I think we're gonna go with the Gilligan color first, just because that's the one I like. So this, let's 
go over a little bit about what this lure does. It goes, um, dives two to three feet. Can be used around almost any type of shallow cover. That's what makes this bait unique, shallow cover. Most of the lakes and ponds that I fish here in my neighborhood are about six feet deep. So that two to three feet is perfect. That's perfect for me right there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get this tied on our rod. And uh, we're gonna go out and see if we can't catch some fish today, guys. I have not did a fishing video in a while. I did some review unboxing videos that I still have some I gotta post. And I still got some fishing videos I gotta post, so be on the lookout for those. But let's get these tied on and go out there and get a couple hours out in the lake. So um, once again, thank you guys for uh, subscribing to my channel, liking my videos and uh, hitting that notification bell. I truly, truly appreciate it very, very much. And I, I try to go on there and reply to everybody who comments on my videos. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's get on the water. So until then, see you on the water. Peace. All right, guys, here we go. First new spot. Got some clear water over here. I'm fishing in Lake Olympia, which is a neighborhood across from mine. And uh, never fished over here before. A lot of it says uh, private property, residents only. And uh, of course, I'm not a resident. So but I just talked to a guy that, over here and he said, nah, people fish it all the time. So I'm gonna fish it and, uh, until someone tells me I can't fish it anymore. I'm gonna fish it. First impressions, pretty good. I'm liking the feel of it. Castability is pretty good. I'm fishing this on my Lose BB1 um, with a gear ratio of six, four to one. He said there's some bass in here. He said they, they catch bass in here a lot. So, hey, why not? Let's give it a try, right? Well, walk around the lake and see what we get. Oh, I caught on something on the ground. Shit. I think we're gonna lose this bait. Yep. I think we're gonna lose this one. Shit. There we go. Oh, bent the shit out that. Yeah, gotta retie. Got one. There we go, guys. Oh, nice size bass. Bank flip. Yes. Look at that. All right, guys. Finally got one off the, the gill again. Six cents munch. Good size bass, too. Good size bass. All right, let's uh, let's get him off the off the hook here. I don't uh, I don't grab bass too much anymore. All right, give me a second. All right, guys, look at the way he ate that. He got ouch. He got all of that. He wasn't coming loose. He got the tail end of it, but I'll take it. It's a bass. Good size bass too. There we go. There you go, the six cents munch, guys. He got munched. Maybe a pound and a half. He's, he's a decent sized bass. 
Not too bad. All right, guys, one more, one last look. Pound and a half, maybe. Let's get him back in the water. All right, bud, see you later. All right, one bass for the day. Let's not switch, let's stick with this Gilligan color for a second here. And uh, let's see if there's any more right there. Yeah, they'll come off that log right there that's under the water can't tell how big it is i should have brought my deeper sonar out here then i'd be able to know how deep that log is out there that will give me a better idea of how much i can throw this crankbait around that but first fish of the day on the gilligan munch now i'm picking up leaves Got another one, guys. Got another one. Oh. Got another one. <laughs> yeah. They got hit the spot right here, guys. Got another little guy. At the end of the day, another bass. I'll take it. Now he got the front hook. There we go, guys. The gill again. Catching. Ooh, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. Let's get him back in the water. No other pictures with him. All right, guys. He's bleeding. Got him in the gill a little bit. So let's get him back in the water. He should be all right. He swam off. He was only out for a second. Yes. That's two in a row. After a couple cat. Oh, man. All right, guys. There we go. Two in a row with the gill again color. Stupid leaves. All right, I think I'm gonna switch. I think we're gonna switch to the, the chartreuse blackback. My Gilligan got me two. I like that. Let's see if we can't get two off the chartreuse blackback and then we'll switch back if we, if we need to. We know the Gilligan color was working, but I don't wanna not throw the chartreuse black back let's go ahead and go with some chartreuse real quick and see see what we can get right Go ahead and switch colors. All right, guys, we just switched to the chartreuse blackback. Let's see if that produces any results, anything different than the Gilligan color. Besides some leaves, cut a bunch of leaves.
Ah, oh, shit. Well, I lost my chartreuse black back, so now I'm down just to the Gilligan color. That sucks. What's up, 11 Series Bass family? It's your boy Cruz right here with 11 Series Bass Fishing, and that's it, guys. The six inch. Six cents, munch, 40. Review is done. And I caught some fish with it, guys, but I also lost one. So I'm a little disappointed in that, that I didn't catch one on it. Um, but the one that came in clutch was that munch Gilligan color, which is obviously designed by Ben Milligan. You can see that color is amazing. And I caught these fish on a lake I haven't been to yet. It was a brand new lake, one that I found on Google Maps. And I figured, let me go check out this pond right here. And it turned out pretty good, but I end up losing the chartreuse black back. Didn't even catch anything on it. You talk about disappointed. And of course they're sold out on Sixth Sense website. So it'll be a minute before I can order me another one and then obviously go out and fish that chartreuse black back one just so i can close out this video even though it's going to be after the fact so um yeah what do i think about the munch 40 it's not too bad guys and the munch 40 bill is designed let me get a let me get a different thing here guys Hold on one second. This is the so the these munch 40s are a smaller design of these right here i think it's this one let's pull this one out here real quick without getting the hook in the hand all right here we go so these are the movement 80 these are the movement 80 and they dive two to three feet the movement 80 and you can see it's got that round bill right there and that's what the munch is the downsize to those move, movement 80s there's pretty much if you look at it they're pretty much the same bill just downsized a lot and you can see the difference between the two there um, huge huge difference between the two baits but it's just a smaller version, which that bill right there is not a square bill. It's gonna push a lot more water when you're reeling that thing in. And man, does it push a lot of water too. And I ended up catching two decent sized fish with it and then nothing else. It was a really windy day that day. Kept getting a lot of backlash. I had to throw just right. So I definitely plan on going out and fishing these a lot more. I wanna see if I can catch some more fish on it, but at the end of the day, it was a great, great bait and uh, it caught fish. So uh, thanks again, Six Cents, for making another amazing bait. And uh, yeah, I'd like to thank all of you guys for continuing to hit that subscribe button and continue to hit that like button. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Then always hit that notification bell so you can see when 11 Series Bass is putting out new videos. And uh, yeah, I got a lot more videos coming soon, guys. I'm working on them. I got a new computer for Christmas. So um, please be on the lookout. These videos are gonna be dropping hot. I probably got like eight videos on my computer that I have to go in there and edit. And uh, I'm trying to get as many as done, as many done as I can as possible. So be on the lookout. These videos are gonna come hot and fast. I appreciate the love. Thank you. And uh, that's it. And so until next time, I'll see you on the water. Peace.